Hello everybody, soy Alejandro de Fuego and welcome to Boson X. This is an interesting um, game that I've seen a while ago. I decided to play it myself, by myself. Um, basically, the purpose of this game is you're running through a large um, particle accelerator to find various particles. And we're just going to run through the tutorial real quickly to hopefully give you an idea of the game. And let's start as Eric. Let's start. Standard model Alpha Berm Collider. Let's go through it. We're looking for the Geon particle right now. Um, it's undiscovered. Let's go. Left arrow. Jump left. Okay, so basically we're just pressing left, right, and forward. Up arrow is jump straight. And we're running along these platforms to gather energy and look for these particles inside. Whoops, didn't jump. Let's go at it again. This music is pretty intense. Let's get a better feel for the controls. Okay, give me a give me a break. I, this is the first time playing this game. I've only loaded it up once before, and I didn't even play it then. I just wanted to see if it would work on my computer. Okay, I think the more energy we get, the faster we go. Not entirely sure. I didn't jump on the right platform, and I was so close, too. Ah, oh, man. I hope this isn't, like, uh... hope I don't get ragey at this. Mm. I'm just so used to WASD to move for games that I don't know how to change that setting in this game. I hit the up button. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. No, oh, we were getting somewhere. Ooh, I ran into the edge of that platform. <laughs> I'm actually really bad at this. I misjudged that completely. That was my fault. I jumped left. I should have. I'm mean, right. I should have jumped. Just, just went straight for it. Getting somewhere. Getting better at this game. Get more energy. Oh! Oh, I, I have no idea what just happened. Okay, we discovered the Geon particle. That's nice. Let's go for it, see if we can do better. Because I think once we pass 100, we, um... Oh, nice, we got two new particles. Let's, let's, uh... Let's check these new ones out. The Acceleron. Oh, boy. I just love that music. Okay, my guess is red platforms are bad. Basic gamers, yeah. Oh, I just stepped in that one and it fell. Why did I jump left? <laughs> okay, 
it may look like I'm just being bad to you, but you have to understand that I both have to realize how long I'm pressing the arrow key. I can't even explain it right now because I'm, I'm focusing on the game. I'm focusing. Because it's not just about jumping. You have to time the length of these jumps perfectly. And you have to realize if you want to jump left and right before you leave the platform. Because you have to press the arrow key to both jump and do anything. And these platforms are on different levels too. Like, mm, like there, I should have jumped right, but I jumped straight instead because you'd think I'd be better at this game. Like, it's it's three keys, and I keep forgetting that I have to hold if I want to jump longer. That was my fault entirely. Imagine if this was just what science was like. Like, if you want to discover a new particle, you just have to run through an ever-changing hallway. Imagine how little science would get done. Because you not only have to be smart, you have to be athletic. Remember when that um, large particle collider was being built a while ago? It was all over the news. People were like, oh no, don't build it. You're going to make a black hole. Who knows what happens when you smash things together on a subatomic level? People were afraid that the large, um, was it the large Haldron Collider? Was going to destroy the world. Um, so far it hasn't, and we've made some uh, pretty cool scientific strides with it. I am so out of date on, like, science news. I think I'm getting better. I think I'm getting better. understanding the mechanics of the game. <sighs> oh, I was jumping left and I forgot to... Okay, yeah, I'm doing steadily better. I think I'm understanding this better, yeah. But yeah, this is just a really cool game. And I was kind of afraid it wouldn't even run on my computer. I just finished recording Stardew Valley, and I was having so many problems with that. And I was like, this is the kind of game that seems like it would take up a lot of resources on my computer. And it's pretty old. And when my computer's handling this, um... Pretty well. Oh, it's a long... Platform. There we go. Do we get faster when we hit those, um... I imagine we get faster when we hit those... Uh, I ran right into that platform. Okay, go left. Okay, actually, yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I made it. So I jumped right onto a red platform. No, another red platform. Ah, oh, I shouldn't keep jumping forward, but I am. Oh, that wasn't right left to me. That can make it all. Okay, let's let's go to uh let's check out the graviton. Oh boy. What did I get myself into? That was just a whole lot of what? But let's go at it again, because why not? I don't want to put left or right when I'm inside those things because I don't know what's on the other side. I jumped. I just did what I said I didn't want to do. 
Okay, your timing has to be exact here. I see what's going on. I, I, um, that was my bad. I didn't even press anything that time. What? How was I supposed to do anything there? Okay, just, just no to that. No to that. I'm going back to the Acceleron. This one's a bit more my speed. Both literally and figuratively. Plus, do you hear that music? That is just awesome. How did I get worse? And I just feel like I'm not commentating at all on this. This is kind of my fear when playing these these types of games. Because it's a lot of concentration, a lot of thinking about movement and stuff. Not sure if I'm going to have clever commentary, but I want to show off these kinds of games. I don't want my channel to be all one genre of game, because I myself played all kinds of games. The thing is, I see my mistakes, like, the second I make them. Like, there. Like, the second I make them, and I'm just like, oh, I should've jumped there. Should've held there. It's like, instantaneous hindsight, so I feel even more sucking in front of you guys. And I say you guys, even though I know there's only 21 people watching me, my videos get an average of like, 4 views. Halfway there. Anyway, as I was saying, my videos get like, what, four views? Ten views if I'm lucky. But, you know. I'm not gonna be that, I'm not gonna be the next PewDiePie or anything. I know I'm not gonna get like, a hundred views on any of my videos anytime soon. I only have 21 watchers, and of those, I know like, Four or five of you actually watch my videos based on views. Mm. That was just a bad jump. What was I saying? Oh yeah, only like four or five of you watch my videos based on um stuff, and I'm okay with that. Not a lot of people know me, and I guess having a small community is kind of good, because then I get to know my watchers personally. I mean, not necessarily personally, because I don't know, like, where you live and stuff. Except I actually kind of know where one of my followers lives, but that's because she's related to me. Although not counting her, I actually have 20, 20 subscribers who aren't related to me. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, I was so close. I shouldn't have landed on that platform. So yeah, at the end of my videos, when I say leave a like, comment, and subscribe, or don't do whatever the hell you want, um... I do say that because I know I'm going to have people who um, aren't going to follow me, who aren't going to like my content, who aren't going to subscribe, and that's fine. You don't have to. I don't want to guilt trip you into um, following me or anything. Of course, if you um, like my videos, you comment, you subscribe, that is awesome. I appreciate it and thank you. If you don't, don't feel like you have to. 
Like my goal isn't to get the most subscribers or the most commenters or the most most followers or anything. My goal isn't to be the best. My goal is to put content out there that people will enjoy. And even if that's like what, three people enjoy my content, that's perfectly fine by me. Crap. So yeah, if only three people watch me, three people like like my videos, that's fine. Pretty much my um, motto in life is if I can get one person's life, if I can make a positive impact on at least one person's life, then I'm content. I didn't jump there. I just didn't jump there. So yeah. That's why I say that. If I stay at 21 followers for the rest of my life, that's perfectly fine by me. If I get to a million followers, that's also fine. If I get to a billion, that's impossible. So yeah, whether I have 20 or 20,000 or 20 million followers, I want to be, like, I want to be producing content that I like and that you guys like, and I want us to be a nice, um, I want to be, a, have a positive impact on my, I didn't jump there. I want to have a positive impact on the lives of the people I am, um, interacting with. You know? Anyway, what am I doing giving you my life story when I'm running through a large particle collider trying to find the, um, Acceleron? You know what, let's go back to the, um, the Geon. We were doing really good on that. Let's see if we can get past the hundred and whatever percent we got. Whoops. How did I get worse? Oh yeah, here we go. Dang it. Here we're getting there. If we can get to 200% um, this episode, that'll be awesome. Oh yeah, I remember my point from before. If you do like my videos and share them with other people, that's awesome. You don't have to. I'll definitely appreciate it. But again, you don't have to. I don't want to make you feel like you have to. If you enjoy the content, that's fine. If you don't, that's also fine. I shouldn't have held. I should have landed. I should have landed. I should have went left. Yeah, there are going to be cuts because, again, there's places where I'm having no commentary at all. Hmm. And then I'm just dying a lot, so... I know there are some of you who hate it when episodes go edited and chopped up. And there are some of you who hate it when I leave my everything in full, and there's just large gaps of silence because I'm not commenting, commentating, because I'm concentrating. I'm never sure where to make the call in terms of, um, cutting things out. This is always, if I cut out too much, it's going to, um, ruin the immersion, but if I leave everything in, I'm just going to bore the viewer. Hmm. You know what? Um. I think that's going to be it for this episode. It's going to be a pretty short one, and a pretty choppy one. Because I don't know what to do with this. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, or don't do whatever the hell you want. I'm probably going to come back to this after I play some more. And get better at the game, because, again, this is my first time playing. Um, 
yeah, I don't know what to say. This is a pretty fun game so far. Um, it's it seems pretty simple in theory, but then again, I I only have three keys again. But in practice, it's actually pretty pretty hard. Because when you're jumping, you have to figure out what direction you want to jump and for how long. And you have to directly control that based on um, how long you're holding the thing. And sometimes your brain is just like, oh, you just need to jump left. I'm just going to press the left thing and let go of it immediately. And you fall, you fall short. Or you're holding on too long and you miss the platform by completely overshooting it. And you just fall into the void. But, you know, that's just me trying to um, justify me being bad at the game. But anyway, as always, gracias and have a good day.